Welcome to 10 minute Wing Chun workout for kicking exercises techniques. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you some kicking techniques for Wing Chun that you can make you stronger and faster and kick harder and then get in good shape too. If you like this workout video, make sure you subscribe to this channel, click the button here and click the notification bell so you get all the latest workouts and exercise videos and martial arts tips lessons that I'm gonna give out all the time. Also comment and let me know what you want to learn. If you have questions, ask me right on the comment section, like and share with your friends. So here we go with the lesson. Let's start out with some warm up exercises. First simple one is just start with your feet together, bend your knees slightly, and then I want you to put your fists, pull back on your chest like this, pull them right back to your chest, and then your elbows are back and downwards and your shoulders are down. That's how it's gonna look from the front. And then I just want you to lift up one leg like this and just stand on one leg. Knees should be slightly bent, but not locked out. And then the other one, try to get this knee to be um, parallel to the ground. The foot, you can relax the foot, doesn't matter. So I just want you to hold this for about 30 seconds. Keep breathing while you're keeping this position. And it helps to just look at one point on the wall so that you can keep your balance. So that's about 30 seconds. We're gonna do the other foot. Okay, it's a good time to wiggle your ankle around too if you can do that. So that's about 30 seconds. The next one, I want you to do the same thing, except now I'm gonna lift it up to the front, move it to the side, and then down, but don't touch the ground. And move it back up again to the side. Let it come down, don't let it touch the ground. Like this, so you're making like circles with your knee. Okay, and now you can speed it up a bit. Do about 10 of them. Okay, do that with the same on the other leg. So up, this side, and down, do it slow first. If you touch the ground, that's okay. You can just reset and go back again, all right? Now the next exercise is to go the other direction. So you bring it up to the outside, then bring it into the inside, outside to inside. Do that 10 times. And then do it the other leg, outside to inside. And for the final exercise, this is really good for training your balance and your strength. We're gonna start like this. Lift up one foot in a tanger position. You can keep your hands up like this in, the, in a defensive posture, like this. Then I want you to do is to kick 45 degrees this way in a diagonal side kick. So, so kick diagonally sideways, diagonal side kick. You don't have to lift it so high. If you're starting out, you can just be at this level like a knee. Imagine you're kicking the knee, and then you're gonna move it slowly to the side like this way. And keep your hands up, protecting you like this. Okay, and go back to this position. And after that, go back into this position. All right, so another foot, we're gonna do this. Hold it like this. This is kicking the knee. Keep your hands high like this. Hold it for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna Flip it over, so my foot this is diagonal. It's like a 45 degrees. And my hands are like this. Then we go to a full side kick. My hands are here. Hold that for about 10 seconds. Bring it back to here. Your hands are in a defensive posture, bong sao, wu sao. And then back to the tan girl, like this. If you're having trouble with uh, balance, I mean, if you're doing this for your first time, you don't need the hands, you can just like this. Time girt, side kick, diagonal, 45 degrees this way, and then 180 degrees this way. Hold it for 10 seconds, and then slowly move it to this diagonal one, 10 seconds, and then slowly move it to time girt. If you want to challenge yourself, just lift your legs higher. So we're kicking the knee position. You can lift it higher and kick on the hip position. 
to see if you can get this at a hip level. It's going to be more tiring. So see if you can kick on the hip level. If you're higher, you might need to lean back a little bit for balance. Kick on the hip level like this for extension. Okay, hip level. You can use your hands or not like this. Use your hands. The hands actually help you balance. Okay, my hip level over 10 seconds per position. Okay, now that you're all warmed up, we're gonna get into the kicking techniques. But before we go into there, make sure you go to my free event. It's called Chi Life Mastery. Go to chilifemastery.com. You can learn how to actualize your full potential, become stronger on the inside and outside, become more successful. You learn how I personally went from being poor to become rich, how I went from being weak and unhealthy to become very strong and very healthy and very depressed and anxious to become very happy and energetic. So go to that webinar right now. It's called Chi Life Mastery. Go to chilifemastery.com. I'll see you there. Here's some really good Wing Chun kicking techniques that you can practice on a wall. Helps you do balance. It helps you get more power in your kicks. So the first one is called Tan Ge. So go like this, put your foot against the wall. And then notice that my foot is on an angle like this. It can be anywhere between 30, 30 degrees to 45 degrees, depending on your body structure. But don't make it straight like this, okay? You want to have a slight angle in there. You can keep your hands up like this, or you can do like that. Right? So first one is just to hold this for about 30 seconds. To make sure that your back leg is bent and that your back heel is, um, is on the ground, nice and firm. And your foot is probably pointed at an angle sideways like that. Right, so that's about 30 seconds. Now I can do the other side. Same thing. Try not to lean back too much. Try to keep yourself straight as much as possible. If you feel your foot slipping like this, and just reset it. You can let your, use your hand to bring it back up there. Just reset that. So you're gonna get a nice stretch. Now if you can't keep your foot up that high, you can start doing this at a lower position. Let's say you just do it on a, uh, on the person's knee. So you can just do it on a lower position like this. When you get better at this, you can lift it up to here. Do it at the hip position and keep it up like that. So that's about 30 seconds now. So the next one is you want to do a diagonal side kick like this. So the foot is diagonal and you're facing 45 degrees this way. Your hands can be like this and just hold the position. Once again, for beginners, you can start lower if you get better at it, get more strength, you can move your fit higher and kick directly sideways. This is the Bong Sao Wu Sao position. So hold this for about 30 seconds. Now you can do the, uh, the full side kick. So full side kick, your feet should be pointing almost directly backwards. And then you want to extend this about 95%. So your leg is 95% extended. And then your arm is going to be like here to protect yourself. Some people like to do this to protect the arm here, but the Wing Chun will usually do this. And for this one, you can lean back more so that you can um, lift your leg a little bit higher. Okay. The next exercise is to combine those three. So start with the time grip. But what you want to do is to kind of like lightly nudge the wall in pulses, pulse the wall. Do that about 30 times. Okay, and switch to position like this. Gently push the wall. Do that about 30 times. Then switch to side kick and gently push the wall. Do the side kick. And do it for both sides, okay? Here's another really cool exercise you can do using the Tangar technique. So start like this. Imagine there's a triangle, so I'm going to go to the top of the triangle, I'm going to touch the bottom of the triangle, this, this corner, touch each corner of the triangle, do that about 10 times. Okay, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I can also go the other direction, go the other direction. Okay. 
Good job on completing the Wing Chun workout with me, David Wong. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, comment, and like this video too. So until next time, use the chi and prosper.